I start with. So now again, in my youth, I went backward towards and everything goes backward. That's how I treated it, okay? So that meant that the shoulders rotated back, the bottom leg went back, and I'm going to use this top leg for my, for my fulcrum again, okay, after. But let's figure out what we did. If it's a right sacral torsion on a left oblique axis, what that look like? Right sacral torsion looks this way. Backward torsion looks like that. Right sacral torsion on a left oblique axis. The involved axis, so left side, we rotate the shoulder back. So if, if, it's, uh, right. if it's turned to the right, what can it do? It cannot go left. left. So if I have her lying on this side and my shoulders are rotating to the right, Right, that's creating right torsion there, which makes the sacrum go to the left. left. Okay, I put the bottom leg back to bring a little bit of extension to that sacrum, and then I'm going to use the top leg. So it's going to help turn that sacrum to the left. Right sacral torsion, left oblique axis. Put them on the side of the involved axis. Everything goes away from you. I use my foot stool again. Bend that knee. Shoulders go back. I get to my L5S1 interspace just like before. I actually like to let the foot go down, and then I have them push up. Yep. So I let the foot go down, and then I have them push up. And relax. Take a breath. She takes a breath. And I might put this leg back a little bit further. It sucks. And then up again. And relax. She's got much rotation back. A lot of people with backward sacral torsions will not be able to rotate that far back. All right, so you'll be going mm. and hold again for me. Now, the other way that I have done this with my mentor it, is she'll do it with a straight leg. And what she'll have you do is press up towards the ceiling and externally rotate. Because she thinks you use a better leverage of the um, of the hip abductors and the and the rotators that way. Okay, so the way one of the ways that I have people do it is I, I'm gonna say that you're gonna yeah. lift and you're gonna rotate out. Is that how he's doing it? On so that? place your left hand on the side of the patient's yeah. right knee or lateral elastic of their foot. foot like right. this. And then press up. Gently attempt to raise their leg toward the ceiling. And turn out. Yeah. yeah. So I you can have them just abduct or you can have them abduct and external rotate. Right, right. Depends on what you feel is recruiting this the best back there. Yeah. So abduct, external rotate. Of course, they won't know what that means, so that's why I show them first. And relax. So I learned it initially with a knee bent, but I do it with a knee yeah. straight. Oh. And then you just you drop that I top do. leg a little yeah. bit. Yeah, right. I bring so her into a little bit of flexion. I drop that top leg a little bit. Many times they're already, like I said, they're not going to have a lot more extension of rotation if you're trying to get that rotation for the third barrier mm -hmm. through that shoulder. Mm -hmm. But you can let them go back further. But that's usually about where they're going to get to.